welcome back to another 07 progress video. This is going to be the second um, progress video for the 07 account. Now, obviously, when I'm on my RS3, obviously, I play RS3 mainly, and I kind of AFK my old school account while doing RS3 because I'm nearly completionist on um, RuneScape 3, which I'm sure all of you know. And, you know, on RuneScape 3, I've only got the tasks to do and Dungeoneering. They're the mainly, they're the only two that I've really got to do. And with the tasks, I'm, I've just got a couple more Mauritania tasks to go. And for the Dungeoneering, I'm 100, almost 117 out of 120 Dungeoneering. And once I get those two ticked off, I'll be able to go and buy that Completionist Cape, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, after I get the Completionist Cape, I've got a few other goals, which I'll tell you about, tell you about, which I'll tell you about when I actually get the Completionist Cape. But as you see... I'm obviously in some newbie ranger gear, and um, you know, I'm actually 50 range, <laughs> I'm going to open my stats, obviously you can see all the stats now, but I kind of, I started training yesterday on a 36 range, and I would just AFK the experiments, and I would just, you know, I didn't even bother changing my gear, I'm still using a maple short bow, I need to go buy a magic short bow because I stopped doing range at, ma um, at 50 magic because I need to get obviously my blue dehyde, I've got to do the dragon slayer quest to, so I can wear the top, I've got to do... Um, like the Fremnic Trials, Fremnic Isles, get all those um, good helmets. Got to do Monkey Madness to unlock my uh, Root Skim... No, the Dragon Skimitar. I've got to do a bunch more quests. So I need to get those quests done to make my experience on 07 a lot more efficient. Uh, so basically, what I've been doing on this account, I've just been training attack, strength, you know, defense, range. Just I've been just AFKing basically. And a good way to make money on 07 as well is to make cannonballs. As you see, I've got 52 smithing and 51 mining. Now I would mine the uh, coal ore at the mother load mine. And I would then buy for iron ore. And then I would smelt those into steel bars. And then make the steel bars into cannonballs. And you can make about 500k. Well, I've made about 500k just from doing that. And obviously, buying the steel bars and selling the cannonballs is also another way to make money. But it isn't as profitable as obviously mining the coal ore. And they're making the steel bars and they're making the uh, cannibals. But, you know, some some things to point out. Obviously, I've got 60 wool cut, 60 cooking, uh, 61 fishing, which, they're, you know, they're pretty high just for, uh, you know, I barely play on this account. I kind of just AFK while I'm doing RuneScape 3, which is, you know, a good way to get XP on this game. And that was a, that was the intended plan as well. Because I want to get this account up to um, standards, which I can go PVM, I can go to God Wars, I can go kill Armadil, I can go kill Bandos, I can then go kill um, DKs, and you know, do do all the good stuff and make a bunch of money, and you know, have a have a great time in this game. So. My current goal is obviously to do the, all of those quests, and I'm going to show you my bank very soon as well. But I need to get my range up to like 70 or 80, I need to get my attack to obviously 78. I'm trying to get base 80 combat stats, as well as 70 prayer, which will be absolutely fantastic. That's my main goal right now. I need to get Smith, I need to get Slayer to 55, I don't really see any reason to get above 55 at this stage. If I have a little quick look at Slayer. Um, 55 is obviously for the, not the Turoth. The true off, the true offs. I'm trying to get the leaf bladed weapon. No, not the leaf bladed weapon. The actual the slayer staff, so I can use the slayer spell. But then again, I think it's um, it's only good for oh, barrows. But now there's a one of those staffs, one of the new staffs that's in the game. So I'm not even sure if it's going to be worth getting slayer up because I'm just having fun AFKing right now, and I'm getting quite good XP per hour. But I need to get my dragon skimmer task to obviously to boost the XP per hour. I've got to get my magic short bow, which would then be the last thing I buy for range. But they're the main stats and stuff. One rune crafting, one construction, one hunter. Because I haven't even bothered with the, I haven't even bothered with those skills yet. But if I jump into the bank right now, um, you'll notice it's a little bit messy. I guess it's going to be a little bit messy. But if, as, as, as you see, at the top I got 1.1 mil GP, and a lot of that was just from obviously uh, smithing. Cannonballs, well that's basically all it's from, and I've got some fishing as well, and that's good stuff. And also Yanni gave me 500k, so massive thanks to Yanni as well. I do, I really do appreciate that. Um, you know, it's always great when you have friends just to give you a little bit of money, and uh, in which you can grow even like you can you can make more money off some money, which is always good. So I'm I'm gonna have to pay him back 500k very shortly, I think, um, unless he lets me keep it, of course. But as you see at the very top, I've just got some fish from when I started fishing, because I basically started fishing straight away, got enough food. To last me for a lifetime. Uh, I've got a couple of pairs of rune sets. Got two D skims, uh, so I'm all ready for combat as soon as I hit that 60. Uh, as soon as I hit the 60, oh, I'm already 60 attack. As soon as I do Monkey Madness quest, I'll be able to jump with the D skim and get training again. Nothing really else to notice down here. I've just got some dyes and stuff from quests. And a lot of ecto tokens because I did use the ecto functus to get 44. Uh, prayer, which cost me, I think it was like 200k or something like that. It was really, really cheap, just for 44 prayer. And I could use protection. I can use the protection prayers, which are essential when you come into O school. And I didn't want to stop at 43. I thought I'd just go to 44 so I could unlock the eagle eye, because obviously if you have eagle eye, it's very, very effective when you're using range and uh, when you fight certain bosses and stuff. 
I've also got, obviously, the red party hat, which cost me 50k. Uh, the prospector boots from the Motherload mine, which gets me a little bit more XP per hour. Uh, mining, and uh, we've got... So, also, there's tabs in our uh, old school. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that, but it's really, really helpful when you've got all the different tabs and stuff. Um, you know, starves are really, really crucial in 07, because runes are quite expensive, in my opinion, because I'm, I'm obviously not the richest player in the game. Um, so, that's my, basic, my really, really basic runes tab with some... Tele tabs and stuff. This is my skilling tab. It's probably the um, best looking tab, I guess. We've got like a bunch of gold at the top, some gold nuggets, a bunch of logs from when I was doing wood cutting, some rune essence. Uh, well, you got some, you know, just this basic stuff. And I've got some combat gear in here as well. I don't actually know why I've got the combat gear. And then we've got the farming tab. Now, with the farming tab, I don't know where the rest of my acorns are. Hold on a sec. Where are my acorns? No, oak saplings. So there, there we go. Oh, they were in here. They were there the entire time. Yeah, I'm using oak saplings to get to 30, around 32 farming, and you know that's plenty. That should be well enough. Uh, well, that will get me well over 32 farming. So you know that's great. And the reason I want 32 farming is to do is to grow ranars, which would be great, making me a lot more money, and I can obviously get prayer potions at a cheaper price. But if I go to my quest as well, I don't really have that many quest points. I need to do a lot more quests to make this account very like a lot better. So. I've done the main ones, basically, well, I haven't really done the main ones, I needed, I really need to do Monkey Madness and Dragon Slayer, they're going to be the next two quests I'm going to be doing, I think, um, I've also been making my way up to the Legends quest as well, as you see, I've got 52 smithing, 51 mining, I'm just trying to get all the skills up to like 50 odd, I need to do agility and thieving, though. they're going to be a little bit of a pain, but I want to do the Legends quest so I can get the cape, unless I just want to get like 99 cooking or something, in which I can get the skill cape. But I need to do Death Plateau as well, just to get those boots. See, I need to do a bunch of quests. Um, I, I, but I've just been focusing so much on my Verisco 3 account that I've kind of neglected this in a sense. But, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm, do, I'm, do, I'm doing what I can, alright? I'm doing what I can. So, yeah, I'm just having a little scroll through this quest now. Start a recipe for disaster to get those barrows, gloves. But that's basically all I have to show you guys in this video for you. If you, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and drop a comment as well down below. Apart from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.